Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. Happy Monday, the 23rd. Did everyone get to see the blue moon? A rare occurrence indeed. One that doesn't come. Um, blue moons come every 2.7 years, I think I read. Okay, so something could be happening that's coming that's out of the, you know, it's out of the ordinary, right? Once in a blue moon, something happens. I also, um, I also connect, if you will, the blue moon to the fact that it's, of course, the feminines of spirituality, right? Such as the high priestess. <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to use the vice versa deck and go around the wheel. The vice versa deck here as spirit instructs. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then for the general, I'm going to use Tarot Royale. Okay. All right. Let me shuffle this really quick and see if there's anything from spirit that wants to come through for us. Okay. So, to start the week, Spirit is saying, the message from Spirit is, it's interesting actually, not that it's not always interesting, but have you ever thought about the term, the use of the saying, just killing time, right? I'm just killing time. The question is, how much time are you killing? Have you been killing time? Why do we even, where did that saying even get initiated? What is the origin of that saying? Hence, there is no time. Of course, it is man-made. It is only on the earth plane. So I don't personally particularly care for the saying killing time. However, when you think about it, what is it that you're doing or not doing just to kill time, right? How many hours in a day do you realize or recognize what, you know, what you do that is just your passing time, your, sorry, you're just, right? And then on the other scope of that term, what's killing you? So what part of that time is killing you? Instead of you killing time, what is killing you? Let's get started. This is for sun, moon, and or rising. I'm only going to do a couple cards so that we can get through this because it takes forever to upload. Okay, so Aries. Are you free yet not feeling good enough? Did it take, is it taking you, is it taking you Every ounce of your, like mentally you feel like, okay, I know I'm good enough, but you really don't feel it. Like you're thinking it, but you're not really feeling it. Do you understand? All right, Aries. Like, yeah, everything's great. You're talking to yourself like, I'm not stuck. I'm feeling really good about my life. I have great prospects, and then in the underlying 
inner self you're not feeling. Thinking and feeling are two different things. But yet connected. Okay, look at this. The tower. And that's when you realize. This is a realization. Holy crap. I'm actually, and the, the, the thinking and feeling, the opposites. Do these opposites attract and how can you merge the two in the realization of? And here you are on the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's go. Taurus. Taurus, getting out of a toxic, toxicity in general, freeing yourself, freeing yourself from the chains that bind. It could be a financial freedom. It could be a, I'm free to do what I want now. Hello, Taurus, you have freed yourself. Oh my God, how beautiful. And you're headed somewhere. You're headed toward the light instead of being chained and bound to a belief system that anyone had any hold on you, vice versa, you on them. Wow, very nice. And it could be a relationship. I'm going to, I think I'm just being told, look at the bottom of the deck when it's right here. All right, Gemini. I'm going to do a quick shuffle. Gem. Gemini, where do I go? Who is, who is with me? Who's not with me? I kind of left, I kind of left some stuff in the past, a little on rocky waters, on, on emotional turbulence, and I may have to, but I really don't want to forgive. Or I want to forget, I want someone to, to come and say they're sorry. I do. I think someone is coming to say they're sorry, but you're waiting for it, but it's not going to happen. I'm just saying, Gemini, you're waiting for an apology and it's not going to happen. And I was going to say a water sign because you have water all over here. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You're waiting for, look, it may or may not come. It's, it's for some it's going to happen, for others it's not. And that's what the chariot is all about. Some of you may want to ask for apologies from a Cancer Pisces or to a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and the others are waiting for an apology. But I got to tell you, it may not come. Let's just do a quick shuffle and go to Cancer. Cancer, sun, moon, and or rising. I had to put a couple things up there for the showing of the house. I know it looks so, it's like now you have nothing else to look at, right? <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> I looked at it when I turned the camera on and I said, holy crap, there's nothing up there. But they have to have something up there to show. Okay, Cancer, look what's happening, right? An ending. I have Scorpio here for sure. An ending, Cancer, to what? Heartache? A loss of a loved one? Thinking that you can actually... the As you go through the end, you're, th you're feeling that you have more options and perhaps you do, right? Let's see. Okay, thinking that more options are coming. Okay, I'm not hurt, I'm not upset, whatever ended is fine. I got other things coming in. I mean, truly, that's what this is. I'm not going to be in any more illusion of who is showing me, don't tell me, show me how you love me or how much you love me. 
And look, you're, you're on the bottom. Okay. That's very sweet. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. There were no swords in there. Okay. Actually, I'm feeling the air signs are a little quiet around now. I don't know why. I just... They're not talking. Okay. Um, let's go to Leo. Leo, are you trying to balance out your emotions, right? What is it that you found out that now you're like, oh, is it a legal case? Something came out of the blue that you didn't see, literally. You didn't see something coming out of the blue. You're trying to weigh out a situation. Something about weight. Are you worried about your weight, right? This feels like you're weighing, you could be weighing your food, weighing in. Something about weighing in. Um, what direction do I go? This is you. You're uncertain about, and you're gaining knowledge about where you are headed, where you want to go, information that came in. You're trying to weigh the pros and cons of a situation and or a person. That's, I'm going to look at this side. Yeah. You're weighing out maybe a decision that was, you were in conversation with someone and now you need all the information here, right? Because you're sitting on the tree of, or the, the tree of knowledge, right? Is right here. So you're gaining information. You're looking at, like I heard, financial papers to gain a balance, budgeting. Okay. This is yin and yang, the sun and the moon. And something came out of the blue, maybe that you found out in the court system that you're trying to figure out. You found out some information about a case, a case study. Okay, Virgo. Virgo. I'm taking them. Virgo, gosh. Well, I don't know where I'm headed, but one thing I do know is I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm going, I'm moving forward. And I don't know where that's going to end, put me, but I know that I'm going toward a place where I'm going to be happy. And of course, I don't know where I'm going out of the blue, the blue moon. Look at that for Virgo. And it is your season. Hello. It is indeed. You're using your intuition, which you do so well. Like, like, I don't know why I want to do that. Italy, right? Something's really good. Where you're going is really good. It's like the best. It's the prime. Prime location, prime place, prime real estate. They came out and we'll take them. Look, prime real estate, right? Making money. Someone could be in real estate or getting ready to go into real estate. I feel like you're putting, you're putting all your efforts into going toward a place that is going to be very fulfilling and beautiful indeed. Yeah, you're putting money into something. Yep, yeah, good. You don't, you were at one time feeling like this, but you freed yourself. And that's what this was about. Okay? All right. All right, Virgo, use your intuition and go for it. Good. Libra. Let me fix these cards. Okay, Libra. Let's do a quick shuffle for Libra. 
sun, moon, and or rising. They're right here. A father, a higher self, going within, looking at your childhood, thinking about your childhood, what you used to do as a child, maybe you're revisiting. Um, you've grown, you've matured since childhood. That's an easy one, right? I mean, come on. A soulmate is showing you, a soulmate is showing you the way forward. Or you're the soulmate showing them the way forward. A transitional time for Libra in, in so far as your wisdom and your knowledge. You have elevated, you have become enlightened, easy here, enlightenment. And I don't use, I don't, enlightenment is higher consciousness. It's not like you're going to, I just saw it, right? You're not going to wake up and you may have a dream of seeing heaven for sure, but it's not like on the earth plane, the heavens are going to open up and you're going to say, oh my God, I'm enlightened. And then when you do, and if you, like I've spoken before, if someone says I'm enlightened, I'm woke, I'm awakened, you, you must be discerning because typically one does not say that when one has done the work of the inner, the inner Okay, this is the high priest, which is the hermit. You're going within, you have found yourself in a situation where it's all about going within, going within, higher knowledge, being enlightened, and now looking out, Libra looking out to where it is your next, turning the page, Libras, you're turning the page. Look, this is childhood, this is now, living in the now, and this is your higher self guiding you to do so and where you're headed. You're being guided. And I mean, this is not a joke. You are being guided by spirit. Beautiful and enlightenment. Should you repeat the words, I am enlightened, <laughs> that means you're not. Scorpio. I should do a video on, on that. I, I will, but I'm so busy right now with moving. Okay. I had to take a minute to breathe in because I think that you've been dealing with a lot of shady people, Scorpio. You've been dealing with a lot of people who are telling you this go this is how we do this this is how we've always done it this way and you're like well you can tell me whatever you want but I'm not listening I am you are guarding your heart you're guarding yourself you're guarding your family you're looking at these people who have already tried to manipulate and maneuver situations where it's like, mm, I don't think so. And you've had this before, Scorpio. So you're dealing with a lot of people here or at least five to seven people who are seven to eight people even. I mean, it's seven, eight, but I heard five. And now we have two sevens here. Seven of wands and seven of swords reversed. Seven. You're dealing with about seven people who are, right, trying to get right. Something about right. Trying to get it right. People that are, this came out. I was going to say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel this is, this is a masterful manipulator. Masterful manipulator who... Try to get in between. I'm not saying it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any sign. But I feel someone has tried to get in the middle of a relationship with you and your loved one. Right? 
or you have tried to get involved with. And it, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that your soulmate's with, and you're protecting this, right, Scorpio? You're protecting a relationship by not letting others influence it or get your or get in the middle of all the bullshit on the external. Yeah, that's that's more like it. For sure. Okay. So not letting others get in the middle of your of your relationship, standing up for a relationship if you're dealing with a Gemini, which you guys Scorpios, you've been dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius for a long time. So you could feasibly be involved in one and a soulmate, right? Who you're standing up for and protecting, you know? So people don't get in the way of your relationship. And it's almost a protective shield of in the backdrop, right? Where you're not letting someone, I don't know. It's just all about protection. Okay, let's go. Sag. Sag. Being strong and getting ready to do some massive, beautiful things that this moon, look at how big that moon is, right? This is infinite possibilities, right? Using your power, your passion to manifest infinite, out of the blue, infinite possibilities for Saggies. Okay, these came out again, so I'm not taking them. If you are with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is your soulmate, Sag. Just saying, you could be involved. We, we'll, I'm not going to put them back. We will keep them. And manifestation. Look at that. The magician reversed and upright. So you're trying to keep a relationship intact. Sag, with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who you know is your soulmate. And I'm going to take one more and don't be, oh, I won't. They said, look at this. It is and was there a third party infiltration? If there was, one person left so another could come in. I am going to tell you something. Do you know, okay, Cindy Crawford, right? She was with Richard Gere. That didn't work out, and she ends up with Richard Gerber, right? I think his name is Richard Gerber. So you're with someone, Sag, listen up. You're with someone who's like a twin, where one person's name, initials, the way they look, is very similar to someone in, from your past. They have similar attributes or ways of speaking, right? Ways, they're almost identical twins even, but they're not physical twins, right? They look very similar. You're attracting or you're with someone who's attracting someone who looks like you, who acts like you, who speaks like you, who has great passion, Maybe one has passion and the other one doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So there could be initials involved, right? Just like I used Cindy Crawford, CC. She ended up with RG, but both of those being very similar yet very different. You got me? Okay. That's how it is for, it's kind of like a Gemini, right? You're getting two people, two different types of people, but very similar. I'm telling you, wow, Saggies. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn, no movement forward. Why? Is there is there a time to pause and then wait? Are you waiting for money to come in before you can move forward or travel or go somewhere? or buy land, I think that you're really waiting to have fun, wanting to have fun, but something's, 
I think a financial hold right now is being placed on you to just to say, just wait one minute, Capricorn. Just wait a minute. Something will come through. Something you're waiting for. If it's not financial, you're waiting to see where it is you're headed. You could be headed to the desert. Something about the desert. You're waiting for money to come in. The squirrel is definitely twice. Squirrel, sorry, the squirrel's here and up here, right? So we have two squirrels, which is you've been saving your money for a minute and now you are getting ready to go on a new path. This is the rabbit of fertility. So you've been waiting to, I don't know, it's buying land, buying property, moving. This is movement. This is not. You've been waiting for money to come in or you're using money to move, move on, move forward. All right, let's get Capricorn. What's happening? Yeah, look, you're waiting for this for money. No doubt. Capricorn, you're waiting for some money to come in that you've been working with others. Maybe someone owes you some money. And once you get this, you're off. You're off and running. And it may come, by the way, I just, I'm going to say it. It may come out of the blue. Just give it, just give it another month. One, one more month. Oops, hold on. One more month. Okay, that was for Capricorn. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. It's like all you want to do is leave your situation. You have left your situation. You and someone have broken apart. You're emotionally and mentally done. You're done. And this could have happened, as you can see, she's in a, she's in a, this whole card is all spiritual. She's learned her lessons and she's walking away. She's not walking. She's, right, she's on her way out. She's gone. You might have left a relationship. This is masculine and feminine. You decided it wasn't worth it. It was giving you more pain than it was giving you pleasure. It could have been a three, because you have a three and six. That could have been something where you were like, I've had enough, I'm out. I'll take those, yeah. You're missing someone who has passed, someone from your past, a lover. I'm also seeing a father figure, an uncle, a brother who is on the other side, it could be. And now you're getting ready to start a new, whole new start, whole new beginning. I mean, really, right? You're ready to embrace a new life, Aquarius. It's time. And look, it's time, right? And you're getting support from a mother figure and or you are the mother, right? Look at the blue moon. So out of this blue moon, you see the light of a new day. Beautiful. Someone was just, someone, and I'm going to show you, look, Aquarius, because I feel bad. Someone was just, you know, giving you, trying to sell you, trying to sell you, you know, a bill of goods. That was certainly not what you were going to do. You're smarter than that. And I think they didn't, I don't think they knew how smart that you are, right? Because this is, like, I'm done, right? After you're mourning a loss, you come to terms with it, with the love of someone, right? And then it just, a new start begins. Okay. Turning the page. Everyone seems to be turning the page. It's time to turn the page, you guys. And that is a lot of what the blue moon was and has been about the energy of that is people turning the page, a new chapter starting. It's time. 
And instead of killing time, let's turn the page to start a new chapter for not killing time because indeed it is going to end up killing you because there is no time. And then when you reach the time where you turn the page and or you exit out of this earth plane, you're going to realize how much time you did waste. Wasted time. And then you're going to be like, oh, I should have done this and that, right? Okay, Aquarius, for some reason, I had to, we had to go on a little rant. Maybe you're feeling that way. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, wow. What is next? See, everyone, what is next? I left something so I could free myself. I am now free because money's coming in. Money is coming in from places that you're just like from here and there, right? It's like everywhere. Reaping the rewards after you sacrificed and left. The eight could be, this is the month, August is the month that you're walking away. Out of the blue, you're going to just say, I'm done. I'm headed for a new direction, a new life. Again, freedom. You're freeing yourself, Pisces. From whatever it was before, you know, just freeing yourself. Evergreen, something about evergreens. Evergreens, Pisces, Pisces, yeah, look it. You have been in this place of, I miss someone. It's been happen. it's been like you've been, I think if I'm not mistaken, Pisces, I got that for your reading for August, missing someone that has passed and now you're becoming free to emotionally get back your get yourself back on track. You know what I mean? You've healed. Look, loving yourself again. And it could very well be I'm going. It could be a spouse, it could be a brother, a lover, an uncle, a friend, someone that you felt you had very good common uh attraction to. But now you're feeling free because you do, you left, <clears throat> someone has left, and now you're feeling kind of yourself again from all of that sorrow, right? Walking away from sorrow and being free. Freedom reigns. Okay, so that is the reading for today and maybe for a couple more days. The energy stays around for a minute. I also want to thank all of you who have purchased my book. Let me show you. Yay. The ego has landed. This book was written for humanity. Okay. I thank you all for your time. I thank you all for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you're subscribed and you're not getting notified, you need to resubscribe and hit that bell again. YouTube's having a party. Don't know what's going on with the algorithms. It's something's going on, but um, if you're not getting notifications, that probably is best to get out of it and then go back in it and resubscribe. I love you all. Thank you.